dear students once again welcome back for mathematics online class today we shall begin new exercise in mathematics that is exercise 4.2 for this you can refer to page number 66 and 67 in your textbook first one here question number one fill in the blanks with greater than less than or equal sign here question number b 6 by 7 and 2 by 3 these are the two fraction that means we are comparing this two fraction before writing this greater than less than or equal sign between this two fraction first we'll cross multiply this two fraction here cross multiply 6 into 3 7 into 2 or this is the first term second term third term or fourth term will find out the product of first and the fourth term and second will find out this product of second and the third term so here 6 into 3 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 6 threes are 18 we got 18 here now next product of second and the third term 7 into 2 7 ones are 7 7 twos are 14 we have got 14 here so here 18 is more than 14 or 18 is greater than 14 so we will write this greater than sign 18 is greater than 14 so we always turn pointed and to the smaller number as you can see here I turn this pointed and to, towards the 14 so 18 is greater than 14 so we will write this sign here between this two fraction that means 6 by 7 is greater than 2 by 3 similarly here 3 into 5 7 into 2 3 1 the 3 3 2 the 6 3 3 the 9 3 4 the 12 3 5 the 15 we got 15 now next 7 into 2 7 1 the 7 7 2 the 14 here 15 is greater than 14 so 15 is greater than 14 here we will write this sign here so here 3 by 7 is greater than 2 by 5 now question number 2 fill in the blanks with greater than less than or equal to here b 8 by 13 and 2 by 13 these two are like fraction as i already explained you fraction whose denominators are same they are called like fraction so here 8 by 13 and 2 by 13 are like fraction these two are like fraction so here this 14 omit this here that means 8 is more than 2 so 8 by 13 is greater than 2 by 13 similarly here 2 by 15 and 3 by 15 these two are like fraction as they have same denominator omit this 15 and 15 here so we will write here 2 is less than 3 so we will turn pointed and towards the smaller so 2 by 15 is less than 3 by 15 now next your question number 3 fill in the blanks with greater than less than or equal to here 5 by 6 5 by 7 as you can see here these are the Unlike fraction. Unlike fraction means those fractions whose denominators are different. But here in this case, you can see they have same numerator. And you can see your same numerator, but the denominators are different. In this case, the whose denominator is smaller than the other, that fraction will be greater than the other that means your 5 by 6 5 by 7 6 is less than 7 so 5 by 6 is greater than 5 by 7 so we'll write this sign 5 by 6 is greater than 5 by 7 similarly here as you can see here these two are 
on like fraction but their denominators are same 12 uh, sorry numerator not denominator numerator 12 12 but denominators are different here 9 and 7 here the whose denominator is smaller than the other that will be greater than the other fraction that means 7 is greater than 9 so 12 by 7 is greater than 12 by 9 or 12 by 9 is less than uh, 12 by 7 now next year question number 4 fill in the blanks with greater than less than or equal to sign here you can see both these are unlike fraction yeah, but their numerators are same so here 1 is less than 2 so 6 by 1 is greater than 6 by 2 or 6 by 2 is less than 6 by 1 now here next year F they have different these are unlike fraction 12 by 9 9 by 12 will cross multiply this 12 into 12 9 into 9 here first 12 ones are 12 12 twos are 24 12 threes are 36 12 fours are 48 12 fives are 60 12 sixes are 72 12 sevens are 84 12 eights are 96 12 nines are 108 12 tens are uh, 120, 12, 11 is 132, 12, 12 is 144, and 9, 9 is 81. So 144 is greater than 81, is more than 81. So first one is 12 by 9 is greater than 9 by 12. Now next year, last one, J, 16 by 40 and 18 by 40. These two are like fraction because their denominators are same. So omit this. Which one is greater? 16 or 18? 18 is greater than 16 or 16 is less than 18. So 16 by 40 is less than 18 by 40. And next question number 5 and 6. Now we have question number 5. Arrange the following fraction in ascending order. Ascending order means smaller to greater. Question number D, 5 by 8, 3 by 4, 7 by 12. Now you have to arrange this fraction in ascending order. First of all, we'll find out the LCM of this denominator, 8, 4, 12. We can find their LCM by prime factorization method. As you know that prime numbers, prime numbers are those numbers which do not have more than two factors, the number itself and one. And they are not divisible by any number. They are divisible by number itself and one. And two is the only even prime number. Three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, and so on. All these are prime numbers. So we'll find out the LCM of 8, 4, and 12. All these are even numbers, so these numbers are divisible by 2. 2, 4 is 8. 2, 2 is 4. 2, 6 is 12. Again here, 4, 2, 6. All these are even numbers, so these numbers are divisible by 2. 2, 2 is 4. 2, 1 is 2. 2, 3 is 6. Again here, 2 left. So again, these numbers are divisible by 2. 2, 1 is 2. 1 will remain same. 3 will remain same. Now 3 here. We'll uh, use 3. 1, 1. 3, 1 is 3. Now the LCM. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 2, 2 is 4. 4, 2 is 8. 8, 3 is 24. Now LCM is 24. Now we'll... Convert all this fraction into like fraction. How can we convert this fraction into like fraction? These fractions are multiplied by LCM. Now 5 by 8. First fraction is 5 by 8. We'll write 5 by 8. How many times this 24 is divided by 8? 
8 1 the 8, 8 2 is the 16, 8 3 is the 24. 2 2 is the 4, 4 2 is the 8, 8 3 is the 24. So 3 left will multiply this 5 by 8, both numerator and denominator by 3. 3 5 is the 50, 3 is the 24. So here 3 1 is the 3, 3 2 is the 6, 3 3 is the 9, 3 4 is the 12, 3 5 is the 15. 8 1 is the 8, 8 2 is the 16, 8 3 is the 24. 15 by 24. Now second fraction here 3 by 4. Now make it here 4. 2 2 is the 4. What is what are left number? 2 into 3. 2 3 is the 6. 4 6 is the 24. 3 by 4 is multiplied by 6. Both numerator and denominator is multiplied by 6. 6 1 is the 6. 6 2 is the 12. 6 3 is the 18. Now here 6 1 is the 6, 6 2 is the 12, 6 3 is the 18, 6 4 is the 24, 18 by 24, 7 by 12, 7 by 12, 7 by 12. Now here we will make it 12, 2 2 is the 4, 4 3 is the 12, what is left here 2, that means 12, 1 is the 12, 12, 2 is the 24, 7 by 12 is multiplied by 2. Both the numerator and denominator is multiplied by 2. 7 1 is the 7. 7 2 is the 14. Now 12 1 is the 12. 12 2 is the 24. Now we have got like fraction. 15 by 24, 18 by 24, 14 by 24. Among this fraction, which one is the smallest? 14 by 24. First we will write 14 by 24. Second, 15 by 24 and the last 18 by 24. 14 by 24. 14 by 24 means 7 by 12. Now 15 by 24. 15 by 24 means 5 by 8. 5 by 8. 18 by 24. 18 by 24 means 3 by 4. Now next question here, question number 6. Arrange the following fraction in descending order. Descending order means greater to smaller. Question number 3, uh, sorry, B. 3 by 5, 1 by 2, and 7 by 10. You have to orange this fraction in descending order. So we will find out the LCM of this denominator, 5, 2, and 10. 5, 2, and 10. 5 will remain same, 2, 1 is a 2, 2, 5 is a 10. Now this divided by 5, 5, 1 is a 5. 1 remains in 5 1 is a 5. Their LCM is 2 5 is a 10. First fraction 3 by 5. So, how many times this 10 is divided by 5? 5 1 is a 5, 5 2 is a 10. Both this 3 by 5, numerator and denominator, is multiplied by 2. 3 1 is a 3, 3 2 is a 6. Then 5 1 is a 5, 5 2 is a 10. 6 by 10. Now second fraction 1 by 2. So 2 is the denominator. How many times 10 is divided by 2? 2 5 is a 10. Both here 1 by 2. Both numerator and denominator is multiplied by 5. 5 1 is a 5. 5 1 is a 5. 5 2 is a 10. 5 by 10. The last fraction 7 by 10. 7 by 10. How many times this 10 is divided by this 10? 10 1 is a 10. So both 7 and 10 is multiplied by 1. 7 1 is a 7. 10 1 is a 10. Now we have got like fraction now. 6 by 10, 5 by 10, 7 by 10. Now we have to arrange this number in descending order. Which one is the greatest here? 7 by 10. So first we will write 7 by 10. 7 by 10 is greater than Second one here, 6 by 10. So we will write 6 by 10. Then last one is 5 by 10. 7 by 10. 7 by 10 means 7 by 10. 6 by 10. 6 by 10 means 3 by 5. 5 by 10. 5 by 10 means 1 by 2. Dear children, here we have come to the end of today's online class. Thank you very much.